गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास था क्लास दिस और इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वर्कबुक एंड टू लेट्स स्टार्ट चैप्टर इलेवन ट्रेन्स मोर चैप्टर्स नहीं ट्रेन्स सो क्लास दिस इज योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वर्कबुक यूनिट सिक्स चैप्टर इलेवन ट्रेन्स क्लास इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक यू ऑलरेडी हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द चैप्टर इलेवन व्हिच इज अ पोयम अबाउट ट्रेन्स ओके द पोयम इज अबाउट ट्रेन्स इन दैट चैप्टर यू हैव लर्न समथिंग अबाउट ट्रेन ओके सो दिस इज योर वर्क बुक एंड इन दिस यू विल सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन विच आर रिलेटेड टू द पोयम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट इज दे आर फर्स्ट इज वो कैबलरी वो कैबलरी मीन्स वर्ड मीनिंग सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट द वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द पोयम दैट मीन क्लास हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे आर सम मीनिंग्स ओके यू हैव टू राइट दे आर वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द पोयम ओके यू हैव टू चूज दिस वर्ड्स फ्रॉम द पोयम Just like the first is costly and valuable, so costly and valuable are the meaning of precious. Precious means costly and valuable. Next is travelers in public vehicles, so it is the meaning of passengers. Okay, passengers means travelers in public vehicles. Next is letters, packages, etc. So they are the meaning of. mail okay mail means letters packages etc next is the goods carried in a train so th- it is the meaning of loads okay l o a d s loads loads means the goods carried in a train next is an area of land not higher than nearby area so it is the meaning of plain p l a i n plain plain means ground area okay an area of land not higher than nearby area okay so this is done next question is write two more rhyming words rhyming words means similar sound words so here in this question there are some words you have to write two more rhyming words like plain train chain brain okay you can write chain and brain next is mail fail sail rail okay you can write sail and rail next on dawn lawn fawn okay you can write lawn and fawn so this is also done next question is reading it means here there is a a, a part of a poem you have to read it and then solve some questions read the given stanzas and answer the following questions the first stanza is over the mountains over the plains over the rivers here comes the trains okay so class here in this line the poet is telling about train okay that trains comes from different areas okay it also comes in uh, mountain area plain area river area okay it travels different area okay and then come to your place so this is a stanza now come to the question the first question is name the poem and the poet here in this question you have to write the poem name and poet name okay poem and poet both so the poem name is the poem is trains and the poet is james s tippet okay who is the poet james s tippet so this is done next question is what means of transport in th- is the poem about it means the poem is about which means of transport okay so the poem is about trains in this poem the poet is telling something about trains next question what are the different places it crosses okay so in this poem the train it crosses mountains plains and rivers so this is done next paragraph is next stanza is carrying passengers carrying mail bringing their precious loads in without fail okay it means the trains come from different areas okay and it also bring it also carry different type of passengers passengers means people human being mail mail means related to letter or fax or different type of things okay and also brings 
they are are precious lore are costly things okay without fail without any mistake it also brings our costly things so this is the stanza now come to the question the first question is what type of train is it it is a passenger train okay the train is how how type is this what type of this is? it is a passenger train next what things is it carrying it is carrying passengers and mail next choose two nouns and one adjective from the given stanza two nouns are passengers and mail and one adjective is precious okay so this is also done next question is language corner here there are some questions which are related to language grammar okay so the first question is rearrange the words to form meaningful sentences begin each sentence with a capital letter put a full stop or question mark at the end class here in this question there are some words you have to arrange them properly and then make a meaningful sentence and also in the end you have to put a full stop or question mark according to the sentence okay so the first is handsome a boy is heron so the proper way of the sentence is heron is a handsome boy okay what's the proper way heron is a handsome boy and it's a sentence statement so you will put a full stop at the end of this sentence so this is done next question is second number is colors the has seven rainbow okay the second word is colors the has seven rainbow so the proper way is the rainbow has seven colors okay the rain rainbow has seven colors and it's a statement so you will put a full stop at the end of the sentence next third number is the name your what of favorite teacher so the proper way of the sentence is what is the name of your favorite teacher and it's a question so you will put a question mark at the end of the sentence what is the name of your favorite teacher next fast the hair ran very so the proper way is the hair ran very fast and it's a statement so you will put a full stop at the end of the sentence the hair here means rabbit the hair ran very fast next lunch box is your wear so the proper way is where is your lunch box and it's a question so you will put a question mark at the end of the sentence where is your lunch box so this is done next question is complete the following sentences using is are am was or were okay here there are some sentences you have to complete them by using these words is are am was or were and what they are they are helping verbs is are am was were are helping verbs so you have to use them and complete the sentence first is i dash 8 years old so we use am with i i am 8 years old this is about present tense okay so you will fill am i am 8 years old next we dash fast friends okay so here we use are okay we means plural so we fill are we are fast friends okay here the word fast means pakke dost okay fast friends means pakke dost next thing is next sentence is yesterday yesterday means past tense yesterday dash a hot day so yesterday past tense and it is singular so we will fill here was yesterday was a hot day okay the sentence is indicating about singular sentence so you will fill was next piyush and tania dash absent yesterday yesterday past tense and piyush and tania plural word there are two words na two names so here you will fill were Piyush and Tanya were absent yesterday. Next, 
द रेड फॉल्ट डैश इन न्यू दिल्ली रेड फॉल्ट सिंगुलर वर्ड एंड द सेंटेंस इज अबाउट प्रेजेंट टेंस सो यू विल फील इज द रेड फॉल्ट इज इन न्यू दिल्ली सो दिस इज डन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सी नंबर चूज द करेक्ट आंसर टू कंप्लीट दिस सेंटेंसेस हियर दे आर सम सेंटेंसेस You have to complete them by choosing correct option, which are here given in brackets. Okay, the first is today Sunday. There isn't dash traffic on the road, so the options are much and any. So here you will fill much. There isn't much traffic on the road. Clear? Next, Ansul has dash. friends at school so options are many or much so here you will fill many okay ansul has many friends at school if you can count anything you will fill many and if you can't count you will fill much okay next thing is this book is very interesting it has dash stories okay so here options are many a little so here you will fill many okay it has many stories this book is very interesting it has many stories next give me dash food to eat options are little or some so here you will fill some give me some food to eat next there is dash money in the piggy bank options are some or little so here you will fill some there is some money in the piggy bank okay clear class how to complete this question so this is done next is now the last question creative writing creative writing means in this question you have to complete them by yourself okay so the question is look at the picture study it carefully answer the questions that follow class here you can see there is a picture okay it's a picture of a platform okay railway platform okay so with the help of this picture you have to solve this question so the first question is which place is shown in the picture okay now see this picture and tell me what is this it's a railway station okay Here you will write railway station. Next, what is the time shown on the clock? Here you can see there is a clock, and tell me what's the time? Yes, very good. It's a eight o'clock. What's the time? Eight o'clock. Next is who is holding a flag? Here you can see in this picture there is a man who is holding a flag, and who is he? He is a station master. Okay, who is he? He is a station master. Who is holding a flag? Station master. What is the woman holding? Here, in this in this picture, you can see there are some women, and what they are holding? They are holding a suitcase. Okay, जो woman है क्या hold किए क्या पकड़ी है suitcase ना? So here you will write suitcase. Last question is who is selling cold drinks on the platform? here you can see there is a man who is selling cold drinks okay so who is he yes very good he is a vendor okay who is he he is a vendor who is selling cold drinks on the platform so class here this chapter 11 ver verb book exercise is totally completed hope you all understood very well about all of them okay so it's enough for the day thank you